Talk about a career of service. Our next guest first served eight years in the U.S. Navy and graduated from the FBI National Academy. He went on to serve as the chief of police in Southampton, New Hampshire, and he served as chief of New Hampshire State Division of Liquor Enforcement, helping to fight substance abuse. And now he wants to continue serving, this time in Congress. Joining us now is GOP congressional candidate in Southampton, New Hampshire, Eddie Edwards. Eddie, thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. Well, Pleasure so, to be here. So what made you want to run for Congress? Well, a lot of it has to do with my continual belief in service to our country. Uh, this is a wonderful place to live, a wonderful place that gives opportunities to so many of us. You know, America is mother to us all, and she's been a great mother. She has uh, been. Speaking of mothers, yeah. tell me why you went into law enforcement. Well, a lot of it had to do with my childhood. It was a very challenging childhood. I saw a lot of abuse, um, drug uh, use and abuse, and I, I felt that the police department at that time protected my mother. They gave her safety. They provided a place of comfort for me as well. And so I always wanted to be in law enforcement from that, from that moment. I can't imagine what it's like to grow up in a house like that, where yeah. your mother, you felt you were in, your mom and you were in danger, and so police would come and rescue you guys? Yeah, I had uh, three other siblings as well. And in that home, in that, in that environment, it was challenging. But we were very blessed. We had a grandmother who stepped up and uh, provided the direction. She told me and made it very clear to me. If you want to be something in life, you can't blame your father, you can't blame this community. Mm -hmm. You are certainly responsible Is that for those your grandmother? That's, my, that's her. That's, that's your her. grandmother. Yes. What was her name? Annie. Annie Sims. Annie. Oh, family is so important, especially this time of year. It is. So yeah. tell me what what you think America needs to hear. It's Christmas time. We've had so much infighting, political infighting. Mm. Many people aren't liking the president's agenda. And um, we're hearing all these stories about the FBI. You went to the academy, the FBI, and Russia collusion and all. What, what message do we need to hear? We need to hear a message of unity. Th th this country, as I said before, has great values. It's always had great values. It serves as a symbol of justice, freedom, and liberty for the entire world. And so we, we simply need to come together. We need a message where we are galvanized around our flag, around our constitution, and the values that created this great country. How did you become a Republican? It's very simple. It's very simple. My, my grandmother taught me those important American values. Self-reliance, determination, commitment. If you want something, you work hard for it. Life isn't easy, but you must work hard for it. She taught me how to forgive, how to love, patience. And that's what I brought forward. And I, growing up, I didn't know if I was a conservative or a liberal or anything. I just knew American values. Mm -hmm. And as I grew, American values became more synonymous with that, what I found in the conservative right. Republican Party. Eddie Edwards, yeah. he could be the next congressman from New Hampshire. Yeah, please check me out at right. which for NH. We will. All right, yes. primaries next September and then the votes next November. Oh, yes. All right, yes. thank you so much, thank Eddie. You. Merry Thanks Christmas. For me. Thank Merry you for Christmas. coming on.